Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here, and today I want to talk about a gift that came in the mail the other day. It's a neck knife from a longtime YouTube friend of mine, Mike Barton from Bushcraft Bartons here in Canada, and uh, it's a custom knife from Thomas Hacker Forge down in the States, and it's a beautiful piece of kit, let me tell you. Look at the detail. As you can see on the blade, it's got a couple of different laminations. It's not Damascus, but I mean, it's custom laminations. And there's his maker's mark. It's a beautiful design. It's like a... Yeah, a tree almost fell over over there. A little bit of an interruption. But anyway, you can take a look at the handle. It's made out of a couple of different types of material. Some liners here. It's got a nice thumb ramp right there. And it's beautiful. I'm going to try to make some feather sticks.
Well, that's not too bad. Well, I didn't lose too many pieces on the ground. Now, I would like to use the knife to strike this ferro rod. However, I've already tried it a few times at home, and the ferro rod seems to have put little nicks in the spine. Now, you're not going to see it here, I'm sure. But anyway, there's little nicks in the spine. So I'm not going to use this neck knife to strike a ferro rod. I'll use another piece of steel. Okay, so what I'm going to try to use is the back of this folding knife. I guess the feather stick's not fluffy enough. Now I've got this little piece of cotton. It's all nice and fluffy. I'm going to put this underneath the feather stick, and this will catch the sparks, I'm sure. There we go. We'll wait for that to boil, and uh, we'll make a cup of tea. Now, aside from the cup of tea, we're going to have a lunch of Mr. Noodles. And some frozen turkey. So that'll make a really nice soup. Oh look, it's boiling already. Some of those chunks are kind of big, so I'm going to cut them down.
Mr. Noodles of big chunks of turkey. there a second ago. Everything out there is really quite wet. You can see the difference in the color of the leaves. These light colored leaves are under the canopy and these dark colored leaves are outside in the rain. It's good to be out of the rain. So, Mike, if you're watching, I really appreciate this knife. It's a beautiful work of art. But I don't think I'll be using it to strike ferro rods, because I really want to keep it in good shape. Now, if any of you would like to find out what Mike is all about, I'll leave a link to Bushcraft Bartons down below. And I'll also leave a link to Thomas Hacker Forge, the person that actually made this knife. So, till next time, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out. Muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.